Here's a tune called The Raven Reel, and it's a special tune for the community that I currently live in, Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, the Scottish fiddle community has been highly influenced by a great fiddle player named Barbara McCohen, and she is the composer of this tune. She's really been instrumental in making sure that Scottish music thrives. And uh, so it's great for me to be able to play this tune coming from that community. And the other aspect of it is that she wrote it for a wonderful fiddle player and dancer in Boston named Lance Ramshaw. And both of these people, Barbara and Lance, are good friends of mine. So uh, I love playing this tune. It's called The Ravelin Reel. It's in the key of D. And it has just become one of the most rockin' jam tunes in the Scottish session scene probably the past 10 years. So I think you should know it. So the opening phrase is filled with a bunch of scales. You start on the open D, go up to the G, and walk down. Then go up to the A and do the same kind of walk down. And end with an octave jump up to the high D. Here's the rhythm of that. After that, you're going to rock down to the open D. So from that C sharp, you go to the B, rock to the D. Keep going down the scale. And every time you play a new note going down the scale up high, after it, you play an open D. Ending with this phrase, starting on your first finger. And then starting on your second finger. And then you're back to the beginning of the tune again. Let me play what we have so far. Then you play your opening phrase again. Here we go. Here's the advanced version of the Ravelin Reel by Barbara McCohen, written for Lance Ramshaw, both great friends of mine in Boston. And uh, we're going to throw in some cuts and some crazy bowings and just make this tune kind of, it's already grooving and we're going to try to make it groove even more. So uh, from the beginning. <laughs> Put a slur right up front. Down, up, 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 down. And then the second uh, round of notes that kind of fall on that second kind of scale, I'll go back to single bows for that. And almost kind of short, not super staccato, but somewhere between legato and staccato. And then when you get to the top, you can do a nice big hammer on and an open D. Then we'll go into our C sharp. And you can put a slur right there. Up, 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 down, up. And then another slur. basically doing is just kind of like outlining some of the rhythms that are happening in the tune but with these three note up those slurs to give it a little push. 